So to solve this problem, we are going to factorize this expression with as many powers of two. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so now we're going to factorize this expression. So you do the same thing as writing two to the n divides two to the 1,000 second times five to the 1,000 second minus two squared to the 500 first. And this right here is the same as writing two to the 1,000 second. So we can factorize this. So it'd be two to the n divides two to the 1,000 second times five to the 1,000 second minus one. So this one, we can write it as under the form of one squared. So we can rewrite this as two to the n divides two to the 1,000 second times five to the 500 first squared minus one squared. We know we can rewrite this as a minus b times a plus b. So we would write two to the n divides two to the 1,000 second times uh, five to the 500 first plus one times five to the 500 first minus one, okay? So we know that five cubed equals 125 and five to the fourth was 625. And this pattern will just keep repeating as you do five to the fifth and et cetera, right? So we see that this exponent odd, so it'll be 125. This exponent is even, so it'll finish by 625. So we can apply this that to this. So it'd be two to the n divides to the 1,000 second times, so this is odd, so it'd be 125 plus one, which is 126 times, this is also 125, but it's minus one, so 124, okay? So if we go here, it'd be the same, we could also write two n divides two to the 1,000 second times, so 126, is divided, is divisible by two, but it's, so we could just write two to the first, but it's not divisible by four. And if it's not divisible by four, it won't be divisible by eight, 32, or any of those multiples. So we could just write it as the form of two to the first, which would be its um, power of two that we could fit in it. Times, we do the same thing for 124. 124 is divided by two to the first, but it's also divisible by two to the second, but nothing beyond that. So we just write two to the second. So these three terms have the same basis, so we can add their exponents under the form of two to the n divides two to the 1,000 seconds plus one plus two, so two to the 1,000 fifth. So that means that our n equals 1,005. So 1,005 would be our answer.